In the last few videos, we looked at how we can create regular expressions to search for a pattern and then use that pattern for replacement. In this video, I want to give you a few tips to help you as you build your own regular expressions. The first tip is really a warning. Now that you know about regular expressions, be careful not to overuse them. This XKCD cartoon highlights the mentality we have when we learn a new tool. There is a saying that goes, when all you have is a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. Regular expressions are very powerful, but they aren't appropriate for every problem. Even when they are appropriate, know that there are costs associated with using regular expressions. As this quote illustrates, sometimes the downsides of using them are more trouble than they are worth. You need to know for sure that regular expressions are the best option. If you have determined that you really do want to use a regular expression, here are a few tips to keep in mind. First, regular expressions are greedy. This means that they will match as much as they can. If you use an asterisk to match zero or more of a character, the regular expression will match as much of the string or the line as possible. It can even include more than you intended. You can add a question mark after the asterisk or plus sign to make the match lazy, meaning it will match the minimum possible. Second, don't try to write an entire complex regular expression all at once. You will inevitably encounter a problem with the expression and need to remove different pieces until you find the source of the problem. Instead, build the regular expression a piece at a time. After you build a piece, test it, then build another piece. Alternatively, use multiple smaller regular expressions instead of a single large one if possible. Next, use both valid and invalid data. If you remember from the examples we saw on the regexer website, I had both valid dates and invalid dates. This is important to ensure your regular expressions match only what you want them to match. Users new to regular expressions frequently create regular expressions that match far more than they intended. If you don't use invalid data for testing, you'll never know it. Lastly, although the regexer website doesn't support it, you can add an X modifier to the end of a regular expression to enable the use of comments. If you do need to create a complex, complex regex, I highly recommend adding comments so you know what you are doing when you revisit it. As I said before, regular expressions are a very complex topic. These videos are only intended to give you an introduction. However, they should be enough for you to get started using them and learning more on your own. 